Hi everybody, I've got a new stream series for you. This time I'm showing my approach to creating a stylized plane in Modo, Substance Painter and Designer. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm an environment artist with experience in both the animated film and games industries. As always, these videos are recorded live streams, and therefore there's no music, and each video is quite lengthy. So you might want to increase the speed of the video and put your own music on in the background. If you want to see me make stuff live, then please tune into my Twitch channel, and you can follow me on Twitter for updates. If you have any questions about my process, then please comment below and subscribe for new videos in the future. Enjoy. Q. Okay, so this is where we're at. Got this guy into substance and all baked. It needs some work, but it'll do for the moment. So we're going to open. So this one, four thirty. That's this one. Boom. Lovely, the new substance painter. Let's move this all down here. Yeah, love it. up because we've got panel lines going everywhere detail going everywhere um, <clears throat> and we need to get all of that in and working so I think what I'm gonna do first is just get this pinch working a bit better uh, so if I go back into here go on to my high give it a moment okay so the body's not you can see it's pinching where it's pinching real bad and that's what's given us the weirdness so if we get rid of the body get this one duplicate it SDS and then oh that's not gonna go well. Okay, so what can we do? We can pull the shape out. Put it here. Thank you. 
so it's got more of a flow. Follow out the out the gates, unheard of. Hi, energy. How are you? How's the uh, work going? Oh, you're hosting me. Brilliant. That's why I didn't get a notification on my phone. Thank you. Have you stopped for the evening then? again. Export selected, FBX all in one. We'll put those in high mesh names. Um, going to get lunch. Uh, nice. Um, yeah, just uh, cracking out Substance Painter 2018 tonight. Because I haven't used it yet. And I really want to pick it up because it's well, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty awesome. Um, right, this guy, I might move over here. Uh, might make a bit smaller as well. Uh, right, now I need to bake all of these again, so I need to find... So it's going to be a lot of me going back and forth. Okay, texture settings, bait maps, and let's get the high in again. Yeah. And I only want to bait the metal blue because that's the only one that's changed. Yeah. So let's bait that. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Oh, nice. I've been using Substance Painter 2. Don't really want to pay for it again. Yeah, I know what you mean. I um I try and just stick to the um the one off payments. So I think it works how it's seventy five dollars, so it's about fifty quid for me. And I just think fifty quid for the year, yeah, it's not bad that, so 
and it means that I'm up to date as well. Um, and it, it just, I mean, look at it. I feel like they've really um, upped their game in terms of making it more um, intuitive to use, which is pretty cool. Well, it, I suppose it depends what license you're already on because I'm on the um, I'm on the Substance Indie package. It shows 150. Ooh. Well, I don't know. I think I'm on the Substance Indie, which is, and I bought this, you know, three years ago at least. Actually, no, it was probably about three years ago. Um, and I paid the full. I didn't do payment plan. I just did. I paid, you know, the what the full. I think it was like 350 or something. So that I wouldn't have to do the payment plan. And then now I only have to upgrade. Well, I don't have to, but I get offered the one-off payments to do it. It's on sale right now. <laughs> yes, well, brilliant. <laughs> I, may, I may as well just buy it then. I was gonna do this for, um, 30 days on the trial uh, for this month, but if it's on sale, then I may as well just get it now. I might do that after then. Because <laughs> yeah, 50 quid for for me, for, for a package like this is excellent. Whew, this is taking a sweet time though, I suppose the anti in times four really puts up the uh, render time, bake time, I should say. There we go. Oh, and there we go. Much better. Like, I mean, there's a tiny pinch, like a tiny amount on this corner. But I think that's fine. Could probably smooth smooth that out. Is that gonna show me what I want? No. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so I kind of want to get stuck into doing the panel work tonight and kind of detailing this up, um, and then going from there really. So yeah, so we may as well crack on with that. So. Let's see, solo mode, uh, we'll leave it on for the moment, we'll take off, so I need, right, they can all stay on, in fact, let's have a look at our bait maps, so world space normal, ID hasn't got anything, AO, looks pretty good. Oh, in fact, the baker is better because there was uh, discrepancies in here in the old version. Yeah, it looks much better. Curvature, working well. So what's that position? Thickness and the normal. So we're still getting some weird banding up there. It's not the end of the world, but it's picking up like the bevel information, which is good. Uh, that's the base color. High is nothing. Roughness. Yeah, cool. Great. I think you know with vehicles. Uh, like, I think having done this in Modo, I would try, I think next time I might try and learn ZBrush to do it, just because the, the tools are a bit more intuitive because you're sculpting as opposed to poly mesh modeling. Um, and I think you'd be able to get kind of your surfaces much nicer, smoother, um, because that's the problem with vehicles is that everything's bending in different directions. Okay. 
Okay, so let's turn that off. Let's get rid of that. Let's keep this open. And then let's get rid of that. Okay, and then let's just take those off. And I want a new, well, what's the best way of doing this? Probably just a normal layer. And I want to stamp with this, so I want my brush settings. Like so. Okay, and then I want my, oh man. I was debating whether to do this on the stream before I actually learned how to do it. Uh, let's undo, that's the log shelf. And I want brushes, bevel line. Hey, Automec. Most of the stuff I made is relatively low poly. Hey, Ryan. Um, yeah, I, this is quite low poly, to be fair. I mean, you can see the faceting around here. I'm kind of planning on just doing, getting the texturing up and running, and then I might do a higher res bake if needed on a on a new mesh. We'll see. But I'm hoping that you won't really notice. I mean, you can see it there, but I suppose once we get a render going, that's when we're going to know. Uh, so... Alphas, what's in alphas? Well, there's a ton. Might try that metal line. So, where was that hard surface bevel line? Shape square, might do it. So something like that maybe, and let's maybe not make it as deep. And then I want to see both of 
of these. Let's just move that off to one side for the moment. And I want, yeah, the mirror on. Um, compared to what I made, this is super high poly. Looking forward to the bank holiday, yes. Um, I am in London. And it's going to be hot, apparently, in the UK, which will be, you know, the second British summer. Uh, I suppose high poly, perhaps. Uh, now, where do we show the... Yeah, so there's that. So I think it's, um, it's all about putting the geometry where you need it. It's quite low poly, this, to be fair. Um... There's probably more detail in the general cabinet, the cockpit area, than, you know, most of the plane. Um, okay, so we need to have a look at this. So what if... So if, I, if I click and then do that... I think in terms of depth, we could go a bit lower. And how do I get it so that it goes all the way through? Actually, not that bad. Uh, I still had the high poly from Modo pictured. Ah, uh, right, yeah. That is high poly. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be texturing on that. Um, I don't think anyone would allow me to have that in a game setting. Um, okay, so let's. Annoyingly, it's not as even as I was hoping. So this is where it's kind of like, well, do I, is it worth putting it in the, the bake? So that's here. It's going to be things like this, which is going to be a bit annoying and kind of, yeah, pretty damn annoying if I'm being honest. Well, let's just draw something on the kind of where it sort of needs to go. So it's like one of them is here, goes up and then into this way. down, that's curved around there, and then this kind of joins up here, and then this kind of goes all the way through, and then this looks like it crosses down there, 
crosses down there. That one though goes there and there. Yep. And then under here it goes on the centre and then comes back round. And then on here it's like a compartment. So that's got four things on it. Okay, looks shit. <laughs> this is going to be tricky, so it might be worth cutting them out in modo or baking them. So I could do that with the with mock booleans. That could work. Let's just give let's see if we can give that a go. Let's turn this off. Get this one on again. Okay, and then if we get mock booleans open. Uh, now, how do I do this? Control Shift X, Control Shift X, create mod. Okay, must have something selected. Okay, so that's okay. And then we need another shape. So let's um, get a square. <laughs> Hi Nick. <laughs> Getting paid to poop, eh? Hey? Living the dream.
That's fine, Nick. Thanks for stopping by anyway. Um, yeah, it turns out Substance Painter 18 is going to be on hold while we just sort our bakes out. Um, or at least we're going to be doing some back and forth on it. Tell you what we should have done actually before making doing this one is we should just paste this and just kind of do all the lines now in this mode. in correctly as it should be. You're just going to have to use your, your minds a little bit. And this saves me actually cutting out any kind of panel information. do it all for us. So this is actually part of the Modo 12, is it, kit? Mock booleans? I think it is. When does my stream end? Half ten. Uh, have you gone to try out the new Substance Painter March? If so, what are your thoughts? Still deciding if I want to pick it up. I haven't bought it in any of the updates, so I'm still sitting on the new version before they even started the paid updates. Um, great version, good tweaks, and excellent UI. Links to UE4 and UTO Plus. I'm part of the beta team. And we gave a lot of feedback to get good changes over the past year. Yeah, and it's also on sale, apparently. Uh, Energy Live was saying it's on sale at the moment for $75 for an upgrade. Um, I like it, personally. I mean, I've, I was looking at tutorials today, and um, just the interface is so much better. Uh, that You can dock things. Everything is, you know, uh, it's all there, but it's kind of hidden away when you don't need it, which is great. Um, yeah, so I uh, like, I mean, I've only used it for all of 30 minutes, but um, I think, and the baker is much better as well. So I looked up, so this is, uh, I opened this project and this was done in Substance Painter 2017 or whatever the last one was. And um, I had some bake issues in that, but I rebaked with the new mesh in um, in the new version 2018 and um, all the bakes came out really smooth so um, I feel like they've made uh, kind of subtle changes as well uh, which is always great uh, okay we need to do the wings as well but we'll get to that Bridge. 
person. Now what it will mean... Ah, oh, no, it's this is on the high, so it'll be fine, hopefully. Uh, I will leave them all straight corners, that'll be fine. Uh, so that, this thing, I'm interested in. So it might be that that needs to be over the mesh, just kind of on the low. Okay, so I might cook that out. Well, let's see what happens anyway. So I want to select all of this. Mini Moward, thank you for the follow. How are you doing tonight? Into 3D yourself, etc, etc. Feel free to pop into the chat or not, up to you. Good to see what people are up to. Oh, 
do it. And actually, while I'm here, it might be worth doing one that splits underneath as well. with that now so if we select it all and start subtract those are some tracks in all the right places What if we used, let's get rid of this. Which mesh are we on this one? What if we, uh, see you soon, Nick. Uh, what if we open the mop bill? No. So that's the base. What if we used the high? Do some 
Okay, so there we go. Now it's working. We are getting some issues. What if we... We can get rid of them, so that's okay. So if we just copy this again. Paste it. So as a test, if we copy this, get it on a new Sorry, this must be quite boring to watch. how it bakes with this. Because if, if it bakes okay, then we'll just do it like this and it won't matter. Um, now I have a feeling that the edges might be, have to be beveled, but we'll see. So if we go back to F2, turn projection off, or sorry, symmetry. Let's get rid of that because we don't need it. And then if we go back to bait maps, and then I only want, I want to turn down the anti aliasing to none for the moment. Let's re-import it. And I just want to bake it on this blue texture. So let's just see what comes through. Um, You didn't get in a frontier. That's, I mean, that's not the end of the world. But you've got a second round of Sega, and you won't hear back from a VR company down south. I mean, at least you've got, yeah, things on the go. It's a shame you didn't get frontier, but you know, you've got other things going on, which is good. Okay, so that's an incredibly harsh bake. I'm gonna up the anti alias in I think and see what comes out but there's a short term so what is the uh, so yeah the curvature is picking up information uh, so what if we just uh, where the piss is the uh, this is what I need to get used to, where everything is. Texture settings, I don't want texture settings. I want the, oh it's here, the library is off to one side. So I'm just going to get smart materials. The machinery one is normally quite good at uh, revealing everything. Okay, maybe actually let's get rid of that. Let's use something like What's this one like? Okay, so it's picking up the curvature information. Uh, 
curvature's on full whack. Okay. It's definitely picking the information up, so that's good. So what if just might be it could do with maybe being a little bit thinner perhaps. I don't know, we'll see if we bake these again, but then put the anti-alias in back up to times four. Uh, and let's just see what comes out. Hey Action, how are you? Yeah, but you, you never know what projects are gonna come up at places, so you know, it's good to not have all your eggs in one basket. Um, so good luck for the Sega and for the other place. Um, I'm guessing Sega is you're going in for an interview. And is it, is it like an asset role or is it a modeling role? Um, can you tell us anything about it? I think already you can see it's a lot smoother. And you know what, I don't think it should be any thinner than that perhaps because you won't be able to see it. Just taking its sweet time. How's the uh, art station challenge going for people? Some of the updates are flying out. Although I do think a lot of them are quite dark at the moment. I don't know, they're not final, but I just hope there's more daylight scenes. At first I wanted to choose the country area with the horse drinking, but it was not so sure if it reads so well that it's western as soon as you remove the horse cowboy from the image. Yeah, that's a good point. Could be everything, so I will make the Native American town with the windmill. Ah, yes, well that's definitely Wild West. Uh, let's just get that open. Uh, <laughs> use dot in, eh? Uh, <laughs> but I know which one you mean. In fact, if we... Uh, Ooh, ah, Maloki, so are you Mini Moed? Who knows? Um, I want to go Wild West challenge. And then I want to, ah, there you go. Boom. Here we are, yeah, I, I do like this one. And it's doable, you know, I think you'll have fun with it. And it'd be cool if you got, you know, you got this to actually turn and had a gif out of it. That would be pretty epic. Yeah. Oh, see, that is much better with times four anti-aliasing. Anti okay, so it's still a bit rubbish in some places. It's missing from the front, obviously. So if we just go down here, so actually, uh, let me just turn that off and let's get a new layer. And then I think you can set it so you've got lazy mouse. Where 
did I see that? Follow path. So you will remember? I'm gonna have to look at the help. Online documentation. Easy. Lazy mouse, got it, right. So, okay, so we want it, the distance to be less. Ooh, something was a bit slow there. So what if we drop this to Is it not? It is a little bit. Okay, I see how it works. So it goes from the edge of what you're doing. Okay. So what if we now turn that off? Okay, so that is working. Hmm, anyone got any thoughts on what I should do here. Should I put the seams into the geometry and bake the geometry, or should I do a normal map with the panel information inside of here? So I think, can't have it any smaller. What if 
it was just the normal, like a normal brush. What would that give me? Slightly smoother results. So let's get the eraser. I'd say normal map, map. Are you having issues with the clarity of the seam? Uh, have to be done blocking out by the end of the week. This one. What's this one? Oh yeah. Sorry, I've looked at that. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're not. It shouldn't be that hard. I'd say normal map. Yeah, I think you're right. I think maybe the normal map might be better because then we can smooth it. Or add more as and when. And we've got control of the depth as well. So I think I think yes, you're right, let's let's stick. We're doing it this way. Started. This is really difficult. Doesn't look too bad. So you can definitely see. 
see where I've gone wrong. And then we put this at zero. No, that's not doing anything. Oh, I'm just thinking of ease of use on this, to be honest. It just might be easier to bake it. Just don't know. Hmm. I suppose it isn't picking up the information properly on those bits because it's not going all the way through. And I kind of feel like if it's too straight, it's not going to look quite right. for this again. Let's put it all at minus one because we can always bring it back and let's make the size of it a bit bigger. as deep as that. Okay, something like that. And get lazy mouse back on.
something slow down. I feel like a crash is coming on. I think my computer's freezing. Let's change programs. Okay, there we go, just locked in. <laughs> Just let's touch off. Uh, no, it's not. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, we might be okay with this. This bit needs tightening up. At the, so what if we now grab the layer and go to height and bring this down? Yeah, that might be better. So now if we go back to Modo and Bloody hell, 24 people. Oh, dynasty. <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, might give clean lights, yeah, it might do. Um, it probably will, to be fair. Uh, and I want to bake again. Where's that exported? Yes. And. So now it should bake with no lines, but our normal lines are on a separate layer, which would be really good. Um, oh, it always is uh, Pontus. There's, uh, there's not very many of us, and we need to stick together. But seriously, Modo is... Uh, Love it. Such a good program to use. Um, uh, yeah, Daz, we were, I was just debating what's going to be better uh, for me in this process. Should I bake the panel work in, in the high to low bake, or should I uh, put it on additional, the panel detail, as in the seams, on a texture layer in... Uh, whatever this is, Substance Painter. Um, I'm just kind of trying out what works better, really. Um, and I'm baking at 2K with anti-aliasing on 4x4, so we are getting much smoother bakes through that. But yeah, I think you're right, baking at 4K would, would help quite a lot. Um, yeah. So really what I did then was I used the 
I just traced over the um, the previous bake on a separate layer to get all the lines in the right places. Um, yeah, we'll just see how that pans out. How was how was Dynasty streamed? Did uh, portfolio reviews? I was on it briefly, um, and there was some really awesome stuff uh, going on, which was cool. Mm. Oh, dear me. Okay, so that's been baked. I don't know, the problem I find with this, with baking stuff sometimes, is that you do lose an awful, lot, an awful lot of detail. Now, I suppose what we could do is delete that. Yeah, so how do I get it? I haven't used sub 2018 before, but do you know how I use the this information to influence other maps? Do I set this as an anchor point? that's the one thing um, that is missing it's not being influenced by it so if I I could set it to something like that maybe less and I could tighten it up Levels. Can I? Can I not? It's not having any kind of effect. No. Oh, it's because I'm affecting the wrong thing. Height. of it. Because it's a lot thinner. Yeah, so maybe we just need to make it thinner because it's too fat at the moment. Well, this is a really interesting stream. <laughs>
lazy mouse bit of a bitch to use. Oh, I'm just really not used to it. Could be that. Probably that. Although that is better. Yeah, much prefer that. Tell you what, I haven't got on. Where it, when you start a new thing, it uh, digs deeper. I don't want that on, but again. I don't remember where that is. Don't know where it is in this new version actually, so
let's run with that for the moment. I suppose it'll just come with time when I get a bit more used to Substance Painter again because I haven't used it for a while. Um, let's not go for let's just take hardness right down, turn this off, get the brush size up. And let's do some rivets. So maybe what do these come out as? Uh, these need to be. Might as well write that height down. Uh, can't remember. that but okay so panel depth is minus zero <coughs> excuse me oh point zero three two seven in case I need it again um, so this on the other hand needs to be punched up and why isn't this painted is painting cool. Okay, so again, so these I suppose I can. I think I'll do them as little pimples. But they need to be smaller. better yeah I think once these are in that's looking a bit weird now but what are you gonna do about it we can always go around these later I think the panels need tidying up a little bit.
I've been doing this in the wrong way here. Uh, oh, shit. Right, great. <sighs> Move layers. it rivets Yeah, so I think the panels like this bit around here needs sorting out. Whether that's just, you know, one piece and we just cut it and then cut it across somewhere else maybe. And then this corner needs sorting out down here. Um, Actually, I think it's, uh, I can't remember, was it you, Automech? Yeah, who said do it in the, in the uh, normal map. I think it's a much better idea to do it this way. And we've got, you know, really have got full control over where all the lines are without having to faff around in, in just baking stuff out. to figure out how I can get it to influence so maybe so we want this as five uh, we want to reduce this oops this wants to be minus Seems like the right length, sorry, width. So what I might do actually is, I think we can save this, great brush preset, and then if we go, where's my library? Here it is, brushes, new brush. We'll call this plain. Good. And then we've got it 
locked in for the future, which is great. So shall we go down here? but it just doesn't look very good. What if... Oh, there we go. That looks much better. <laughs> just doing it straight onto the mesh. Bits, maybe it comes out. Uh, so, what if it's like? No, so I think it should. Maybe this bit just needs cloning over. So what if we do that here? Is the clone view. Is that not going to work? Oh no, it is. It's because lazy mouse is on, that's why. There we go. 
then if we put this back to what it was, and what was it, 19? smooth off the corners a little bit as well. It's a rivet, that's why. Okay, and then let's put this back down to zero. Let's make it a little bit neater. extreme I think that would be better so if we move this back to zero Definitely feels, I think, better. Just improvising the panels a bit more. And then the rivets are, so we need to save these, these are all like this. 
can't remember what they were though. They're not point five. No. Not fun. Preset now. Quick rush preset, and we will rename that. forget about the height. So that might be better actually if the space in Yeah, so maybe the space is like that. You just drag it out. Uh, so let's if we see if that's a new preset. Delete the previous one. Starting to cook with gas a bit more. About time. steady progress. <laughs>
might be better. Oh god, and then I want to get some edging on some of these things as well, so where's this? That's down here. Thank you. 
Okay. Go back to Reddit. And then let's. Why is the height not? Why? There we go. for the moment. It's starting to look more like it's been assembled now, which is good. Uh, just need to tidy up some areas.
need to switch layers. again. Sort out this panel in at the front. There we go. Now I just need to touch up this area. Oops, shit. Oh, fucking hell. That's better anyway. 
Oh man, this is kind of tiring concentrating so much, getting it wrong. Be working okay. And then let's do the same on this bit here. Do a bit of the raisin. Well, I find this is kind of hit and miss when I do the raisin. Oh, is that because? Oh, 
it's doing something, it's just on the bend, that's all. And you know these need eaten up a bit more. Oops. It's on. details. It's a shame it doesn't retain the uh, height information. So where's this? There.
Am I baking down the new height map detail into the normals? Um, I would like to. Um, yes, because I'd like this information to influence my main maps so that I get curvature off them and stuff like that. But in all honesty, I cannot remember how it's done. Damn height information again, always forget. It's part of Albert Sci-Fi Crates tutorial. So does he not do it in that video? Does it just rebake it? I 
thought there was like a way that you use an anchor or something like that to to do it. What I normally do is vary in height deal to this. Have fill layers with only the height filled in and then mask it out. That way everything has the same values and then create multiply ones for different sets is the next fit. Um, so he just bakes them again. Or does he export this as a map? I don't know, I have a feeling that the anchor points, you know, help this process out. Uh, I need to do a seam along the bottom there. Um, most probably a seam along the top. A seam rather than not seen. Uh, so let's get back onto here. On the on these tailwinds. things save this.
okay? I'm alright, thanks. I've got 20 minutes left. No, it's okay. I'm just saying I'll be there in 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, do I have to rebate? I just can't remember. I think I'm just going to have to leave it until next time and watch some tutorials. So I need to put this panel in. I think I might just model it in because it will be easier. Maybe hide these seams a bit. Let's pick it. At least the panel in looks all right. It's not amazing, but it is doing the job. Um, oh. 
Yeah, I need to do some tutorials myself, I think. Because I need to find out how to get these to influence each other and stuff like that. Yeah, so a long way to go yet, but just going into Substance Painter and having a look and kind of getting a feel for the new program is, is really good. Oh, dear me. So, you know what, I'm, I'm quite tired, so I might leave it there for tonight because we've got to a good a good place with it um, so yeah uh, sorry this hasn't been the most interesting stream but if you've got any you know want feedback on anything or what have you then just throw it in the discord and um, I will get back to you at some point um, Thanks for the followers, thanks for the auto hosts from Energy Live and Dynasty and have a good bank holiday everybody if you're in the UK and um, I will see you all either in Discord or uh, on Tuesday. So I will see you then. Bye for now.